It's almost touching the ceiling, it's so huge. That is one seriously big cat butt. Alright guys, today I just happened to be back in Canton, Ohio for just a few days. By the time you see this, I'll probably be gone. I have heard through the grapevine that there are awesome Halloween things already at at home. Let's go in here. I am so excited. I know this place loves to put out things early, so I'm very excited to see what they have. And I already see it with my own eyes. Holy crap, guys. Look down there. Feast your eyes on those inflatables. Here's some right here. Let's look at these first before we go see the ones that are actually blown up. I'm already starting to hyperventilate because I'm so excited. <laughs> here is the black spooky tree, guys. Personally, I like the one that has ghosties and pumpkins on the branches, but this is a cool one nonetheless. Gigantic jack-o'-lantern, 12 feet tall. How cool is that? I love that. 12 foot ghosty huge 12 foot cat look at those eyes he has the sp the spiral eyes i can't even say it okay we got uh, sally here oogie boogie look zero i absolutely love zero so much jack skellington these are all three to three and a half feet tall then we have the enormous 10 foot jack skellington that is cool <laughs> There's a turkey, okay. Skeleton dog. Here's more ghosties with a pumpkin. A skeleton dragon. A pumpkin hat ghost. What the heck? Look at that, that's hilarious. His hat is a pumpkin. I love it. A black cat, a Halloweeny dog. Look at that. It is actually called Halloweeny dog. That is so hilarious. Up top here we have witch hat spider. It's a spider that looks like a pumpkin but it has a witch hat on. It's hilarious. A skeleton gnome, a witch dog, a winged dragon, and a small pumpkin duo stack, it's called. Three and a half feet tall. Oh, and we got one more, a pumpkin boy that's three and a half feet tall. So cool. I am so overly excited to see all these guys. I can just hardly breathe. Oh my gosh. All right, before I faint, let's walk down here and see these awesome, enormous inflatables that they have right in the middle of the store. These look so cool. I cannot wait. Look, we got some small ones up here already. There's, oh my gosh, there's the, um, the ghost with the pumpkin hat. <laughs> so hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple of them up there. Those are all like the three to three and a half foot ones. And here's a bunch. Let's look at these just real quick. See if there's any that we missed. And I don't think so, except for here's a black cat with a pumpkin. That's cool. And he's right up here. He looks cool. Okay. Let's see, are there any more that we didn't see on the other shelf? Um, I don't think so. I think we saw all these except for like this one right here that's just a five foot pumpkin and that is cool anyways if i had a house right now instead of just an rv oh i swear i'd be getting all these 12 foot ones and about 20 of those pumpkins guys i'm not even kidding i'm so excited i just can't even stand it i love halloween so much look at this i have waited all year to see all this stuff set up again <laughs> holy crap look they have all the Nightmare Before Christmas ones sitting out here. And you gotta love Zero, man. I just love Zero so much with a little pumpkin nose. Okay, now of course we have the Thanksgiving uh, turkey right in the middle. But look how absolutely enormous this cat is. Oh my God, look at this. It goes all the way through there. I just cannot believe how huge this is. Look, look at how huge this is. One eye is bigger than my head. What the heck? I have to back way up for you to actually see how huge it actually is. That is one of the biggest inflatables like for Halloween just available in a retail that I've ever seen. Let's go over here for a second. Holy crap. Look how tall the tail sticks up. That's gotta be 15 feet. And look at it. It reminds me of the Beetlejuice sandworm. 
Holy crap, it's almost touching the ceiling. It's so huge. That is one seriously big cat butt. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. So I'm just rolling right by with their cart as I said that. Probably came in here just to buy like some flowers or something and here's some weird dude talking about a big cat butt. Look at Jack Skellington. This is a huge one. I honestly don't know if I've seen one this big before. I thought there was a 12 foot Jack Skellington um, a year or two ago, but I don't know. This one's 10 feet and it's absolutely enormous. Okay, here's our large skeleton dragon. I mean, that one's kind of cool. That really doesn't scream Halloween to me, but this does. Look at this enormous five foot jack-o-lantern pumpkin. I absolutely love this so much, guys. And right behind it, you can see where the other enormous pumpkin is. We're gonna see that in a second, but holy crap, look at this. Here's a couple of ghosties with orange top hats and a carved jack-o-lantern. I love you, jack-o-lantern and ghosties. Look at the spooky tree, 12 foot tree with red face. That is so awesome. I wish I could zoom out more. I can barely even get back far enough for you guys to see how big these things are. Look at the hands. Look how huge the hands are. They just swallow mine. Look at these fingers. So cool. It would be so much better though if there were like some little ghosties and or pumpkins on the branches. But I think it's uh, Home Depot or Lowe's that has the one like that. This is a cool one though. I would definitely buy this for my uh, front yard for my own hunt in a split second. And look at these two enormous fellows right in the front. Holy crap, I'm so excited I can't even breathe. Gigantic pumpkin, 12 feet tall. He's so huge. And the enormous spooky ghost right beside him. Look at that, I just, I can't even believe it. I'm so happy to come in here and see all this stuff set up. God, I love Halloween. Look at this, guys. Look how absolutely enormous these spooky guys are. Absolutely huge. Look at the pumpkin. All right, holy crap. I gotta catch my breath. We gotta see this cat one more time because I'm just, I'm blown away. This has got to be my favorite inflatable in this entire place. I just cannot get over how absolutely enormous that cat is. All right, wait a minute. Let's go around the other side again here because I've got to see, can you climb under him? Yeah. I mean, you could simply walk under him. He's so huge. And it's not meant to be an archway, but you know, for little kids trick or treating, you could definitely have them walk right underneath that, right underneath the big cat butt. You'd have to build an enormous litter box, like right behind him. <laughs> okay, I see all kinds of fall stuff here. Let's walk down through here because I know but there's a ton more Halloween stuff. Hello, Pumpky, right down here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys, I can't stand it. Yeah, all this stuff here is all fall, and we love that too. Here's all the fall colors with the, uh, whatever, the leaves here that all change colors. I cannot wait to see the fall leaves blowing down the street, especially in little spooky neighborhoods where you know there's tons of trick-or-treaters going through. All right, let's go down here because I know they have, in fact, I can see it peeking out even more spooky pumpkies for Halloween. It's so funny how many people get mad at me for calling pumpkins pumpkies at Halloween. And look at this enormous pumpki. I don't know if this is, what in the heck is that? Is that plaster or something? It's huge though. That, that's gotta be at least two feet tall, if not two and a half, that's enormous. Then we've got these down here. Look, these are like cookie jars. Ooh, you can't take the top off because they're strapped on right now. But that's an awesome pumpkin cookie jar. Other pumpkins here. All right, let's see. Oh, look, what in the heck? We got these artesian glass pumpkins. I'm just gonna leave those alone because I don't wanna break one. All right, let's keep moving. These are like little foam pumpkins. I hope I find some of those pumpkins that you can actually carve. I think they're made from foam, but you can carve them and, uh, you know, there's no guts or anything like with regular pumpkins. I love carving regular pumpkins, don't get me wrong, but since I live in an RV, I need something that's not going to make an enormous mess or stink up the RV. What the heck is that made of? Holy crap, that's a weirdly shaped pumpkin. Like some kind of hard resin or something, okay. And what in the world are these? These are more artesian glass pumpkins, but these remind me of Willy Wonka. 
You just remind me of candy. Holy crap. You could eat it. I think it's so hilarious when I'm out here doing this and people are like watching look at these skulls. Holy crap, guys. Yes. What the? There's butterflies on the skull. What in the world? How are they not scared of the skull? Hemlock root? And here's a candle with a uh, the birds on it. <laughs> Wait, here's a mini skull hiding back here. Hello, I wonder if his jaw eh, it sort of moves, not very well, but okay, I'm gonna leave you right there, mister. Okay, look at this. If you're having a Halloween Christmas tree, and a lot of people make Halloween Christmas trees anymore, I mean, I guess it would just be a Halloween tree, but there's lots of uh, shatterproof um, Halloween ornaments here. Black, purple, sparkly. Look at the sparkly purple ones. Those are cool. What the? A real witch lives here with her little monsters. And look at this. This is like a felt flocked skull. It's soft. <laughs> My favorite color is October. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, look at these pumpkins. More with the artesian glass. I don't want to touch those much. But look at these candles. These are real candles? Yeah, these are real candles with snakes on them. Ooh, that kind of reminds me of the never-ending story. Look at this one. It's a black pumpkin with a gold snake on it. What in the world? And what in the world is all over this pumpkin? Look, we have like all kinds of bugs here. Spiders. What in? It's like a little uh, butterfly. It looks like cockroaches and everything on there. No thanks. We got a witchy woman here and a snaky wreath. A couple more witchy women here. Oh, look at this candelabra with one eye. And a mirror. I wonder, is this... Oh, that's heavy. That's just like a real mirror. Hi. Okay, I'm going to put that down. I thought maybe it made sounds or something, but it doesn't. But it does have one eye on it. Eat, drink, and be scary. Happy Halloween. Let's see. Oh, here's a happy Halloween um, witch's broom, I guess. A boo. These are little like votive candle holders. These are cool. Light them up and you can see the face just like a uh, like a little jack-o'-lantern. Okay. Here's a boo ghosty. He's kind of heavy. Hmm. Happy Halloween. Oh look, it's a trailer like a camper for Halloween. There's a witch inside and pumpkins outside. Halloween welcome signs. What's this over here? Ooh. Okay. Dream reader. Look, a skull drinking glass cup, whatever you want to call it. What is this? A skull cocktail shaker? Okay. Be magic. Um, yeah, Ouija board type thing. Indoor orange candelier. Make your own magic? What is this? Like a... Yeah, it's one of those books that you hide money or something in and then stick it among your other books and nobody knows. Okay, we got some more skulls over here. These are more of like the realistic looking skulls instead of the black ones. Those are cool. A bag o skulls. One, two, three, four. There's five skulls, six skulls in there. That's pretty cool. Halloween skeleton pug. Does he make noises? I don't see. Oh, he's missing a foot. I'm sorry, Mr. Pug. You're missing a foot. They usually have all these shelves full and like all the way down there. All of this is Halloween, which I'm sure will be closer to Halloween. But here's some hanging skeletons. These are probably three feet, maybe two and a half, something like that. Look at these skeleton candles. Oh my gosh, it, it's just skulls all the way around. And they're like gray or silver. That is pretty cool, three different sizes, that's cool. Look at this, oh my gosh, this is awesome. See, this doesn't light up either, but it's still cool. It's so goth. <laughs> Oh, Mr. and Mrs., how are you? Look, there's a The Birds on his hat. And what in the world? They have some crazy stuff out this year. What in the heck is that? It's like sparkly rock formations on a black skull. Okay, giant spider here. Oh, I think you can, yeah, you can shape his legs however you want, so you can like wrap them around things if you want. Okay, here we go. Here's one that makes sound or something. No, oh, there's no sound, but his eyes light up. That is pretty spooky. Skeleton coming out of a storybook. 
spells. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Light up eyes. Okay, here's some kind of a... Um, oh, I see. He's got... I don't want to go pulling these things out from these things. There we go. This one lights up. That's cool. That's purple. Purple lights on a scary black spider. Which end is his face? I think that's his butt. <laughs> that's his face right there. Yeah, because there's his eyes. His eyes light up too. His butt doesn't light up. Sorry, Mr. Spider. Take your butt over there. Here's some more awesome skulls. Well, here's another small one. Okay, here's... All right, here's another one of these crazy ones. Look, here's the black one like we were just looking at with the sparkly geodes. And then here's this one, gold, with uh, gold flowers growing on it. That is strange. Sparkly eye skeletons. Okay, oh, this is a skeleton candle. And it's not a real one either. It's electronic, so it doesn't have to actually melt and burn down. That is cool. When you light it up, you can see the light coming through. That would be really cool. I wish I could see that in the dark. Okay, two-tone... Uh, skull here and this one has a button so let's see oh look at that that's pretty cool sparkly trees they don't light up but they are sparkly oh I remember this guy from last year I think this guy well he's supposed to light up but his uh, lighting mechanism is gone but look at that face how could you not love that spooky tree candle little skull candles that's cool wait a minute bleeding candles so that means that as these burn down they melt red, and the red trickles down over the faces, or the skulls. Same with this one, I think. Yeah, bleeding candle. That is cool. Oh, here's a huge one. A big skull bleeding candle. Yeah, you light it, and as it melts, it melts red down over the head. That is awesome. Make no bones about it. Ooh, here's some Halloween-y doormats. Boo. Look at this one. I love this kind of Halloween decor right here. Um, this style, the spider, the black cat, the pumpkin, the ghost. What is that? I guess that's just a kid dressed up, but I love that kind of design. Look at this, here's some skulls. The witch is in, what the heck? Man, they have a ton of stuff already. Look at these little hanging skeletons. There, what, okay, we're back to these. The, uh, the mermaid skeleton, what in the world? I kind of wish I could find a small skeleton just to hang from the mirror in my car. Bag-o-skulls, bag-o-bigger skulls. A hanging bat skeleton. Look at this, Halloween skeleton gnomes. <laughs> Spooky uh, pillow. Um, straw bales, these are smaller ones. I love to actually go to a farm and get big sized hay bales. Oh, and here's the projection lights. Yes, look at that. How cool. Projecting ghosties and pumpkies all over the wall. We have boo ladders here with a pumpkin right in the middle. Giant scary hook. That's cool. And of course, there's always tons of spider webs. What in the world? Baby parts. Spooky baby parts. Bago baby parts. And hanging ghosties here. What is this? This reminds me of old school McDonald's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap, they even have more down this aisle. I cannot believe how much Halloween stuff they have out right now. This is so cool. All right, let's look. Orange candles, that just screams Halloween already. Look, it's a little Halloween tree. Let's see if it works. No, wait. Oh, kind of. You can just barely see it lighting up there. Black candles, tall black candles. This looks like candy corn. How cool is that? Halloween heroes, it's called. Little ghosty, I think he's ceramic. Same with the ceramic cat. We have little pumpkins here with sparkly spots. Halloween tree. Tons of little uh, pumpkins and stuff. Look at this little guy. Oh, he's a bobblehead. <laughs> he's like a trick-or-treating bobblehead skeleton. Here's a bobbling ghost. That's cool. Oh, we got the bobbling witch too. Look at her head going. Striped sparkly pumpkins. Look at this one. It's like one of those weird checkered floors from a 50s diner. I'm here for the booze. Here they actually have a Halloween tree. Nightmare before Christmas tree, if you will. And look at this, they have giant ornaments 
shatterproof ornaments. Those are cool. And then they have another big box of smaller ornaments here if you want to make your own nightmare before Christmas tree. I love this pumpkin wreath. Look at this. This looks like the old school type of pumpkin face. Here we got another light up house. All right. Oh, you can just barely see it lighting up. Where is the... Yeah, you can't see it very well. But you can kind of see inside there. Yeah. Doesn't light up? Does it? Oh, yeah, it does. In the light in here, though, you can just barely see it. Here's a stuffed witch. Here's another Halloween nightmare before Christmas tree. Ooh, hold on. This one lights up, too. There we go. Yep. I like to see them flash like that. Halloween bow. A light up. Oh, this one's already lit up. Okay, you can kind of see the light inside there. Ceramic cat on pumpkin. Spooky, spooky sparkly spiders. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Look, beware carved pumpkins. Spooky boo eek, scary beware. That's pretty cool. And it looks like we are at the end with this very last display of pumpkins right here. And actually, this might be this might be what I was just talking about. The carvable foam pumpkin. Let's see. Um, maybe not. It doesn't say carvable. And it feels like it's just solid. So you probably can't carve that. You could paint on it, though. Um, white one, black one, smaller ones on the bottom there. And then uh, some pumpkin stacks up here. These, I think, are... No, these are plastic. I thought they were ceramic. But they're kind of like a blow mold. Yeah, guys, unfortunately... Even though there was tons of stuff here for Halloween, it looks like we've come to the end. And there's Mr. and Mrs. one last time. We'll see you later. See you later, Mrs. But before we go, I want to come down here one last time and visit the enormous inflatables. I just, I just can't get over the cat. I cannot get over how enormous the cat is, guys. I know you've heard about it a hundred times in this video. But the cat is huge. Yeah, you're a big giant cat, aren't you? <laughs> and look, Jack Skellington's hands are big enough to grab me and pull me in. All right, I guess that's it. One last goodbye to our buddies here. Look how absolutely enormous these guys are. Can't get over it. I want them all. I want them all.